check this out everybody. We have the Trimax Combination Lock. This can be used for a lot of different things, locking up your propane tanks or some of the other things on your trailer or even your sports and rec stuff. What's nice about this is you don't have to carry any keys with you. You just need to remember a four digit code. So right now out of the box, the code is gonna be set at 000. What you do is once it's set to that, you push in and it'll pop right out, just like that. For you construction people out there, it's gonna work for your enclosed trailers. And the nice thing about having a combination lock is you don't have to have your workers come to the shop and grab keys, which they might lose. All you have to do is send whoever the code and they can access what's inside the trailer or even the coupler up front. I like that, and let's just say maybe a couple days down the road, they're not supposed to be using this trailer, but to confirm, so they're not taking the wrong trailer, you can just switch the combination whenever you really want to. So I think it's gonna be really great for you that own businesses out there. To reset the combination on your combination lock, all you need is the key that comes with it. It's very small, don't lose it. So what we wanna do is on this side over here, there's gonna be a little slot for it. Once we rotate it sideways like this, then we can go ahead and reset everything. It's upside down for you, so hopefully you can kind of see this. Just pick whatever you want. I like 48s because it's easy for me to remember. And then we can rotate it back like that. And now you can tell if it's going to be set or not is when you press it in, it comes right back out on that new combination, so we're good. So we wanna click it once or twice, scramble it up, and now we're locked. It's very quick and easy to do so, but just make sure if you do plan on changing this multiple times, put this key in a safe place. Dimension time. This is just gonna give you an idea of if it's gonna fit where you want it to go. The overall length of it is gonna be three inches, overall width at the bottom part here, about two inches, and then the gap on the inside width-wise is one inch, and then the overall height of it is about an inch and a quarter. So that'll give you an idea if it's gonna work with maybe your propane tanks, but also down at your coupler. So I would definitely use this for down at the coupler. I noticed that the diameter of our little latching mechanism here, it fits through all your standard couplers. So right here, fits in there nice and neat. So that is a good way to lock it up. The diameter of our lock right here is 5 sixteenths of an inch. If you are using this outdoors, because it can be used outdoors and indoors, if you wanna make sure it's not gonna freeze up on you, whenever the moisture gets inside, it starts to freeze and then it's gonna lock up on you. What I suggest doing, you can either get some locking lubricant or just spray a little bit of WD-40 on it. That is going to disperse all the moisture so it doesn't lock up in the winter. And that'll do it for a look at the Trimax Combination Lock.